In today's video, roasted leg of lamb. A tandoori roasted leg of lamb makes a special Sunday lunch. A lot of people get intimidated when it comes to cook a, a leg of lamb. Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen. This is Chef Ajit Kumar and in today's video, I'm cooking a roasted leg of lamb. This is a hugely popular dish in India and it's super easy to cook. If you follow my instructions, you will totally nail it. Start preparing the leg of lamb. With a sharp knife, remove the skin. Nip the loose end of the skin and start pulling away while gently running the knife under it. If you are not confident to do it, get your butcher to remove the skin. But it is fairly easy. Skin can easily be peeled off by pulling away with gentle strokes of a sharp knife. Gently pull it and let the knife do rest of the work. It is important to de-skin the leg to allow the flavors of marinade to go deep in. So be patient and de-skin it from the top side. Then turn it over and run your knife gently and slowly under the skin while pulling it away. Now, to help it cook faster and evenly, apply some deep cuts with the sharp knife. Make sure that the knife touches the bone with every single cut. Now turn it over, making sure that the knife touches the bone with every single stroke. Now stuff the pockets with whole cloves of garlic. This is going to add an extra flavor to your lamb leg. So be generous and stuff it with garlic cloves. Now make a quick marinade. Add vegetable oil in a mixing bowl and add ginger garlic paste, coriander powder, garam masala, chili powder, turmeric powder, and lemon juice. Add some salt. To help lamb cook faster and evenly, I'm going to use raw papaya paste and uh, if you can't find the raw papaya paste, you can always use a vinegar. It is a tenderizer. Add crushed pepper. This is the special ingredient. This is allspice berry. It has a flavor of cinnamon, peppercorns and cloves and it goes beautiful with the lamb. We'll take a few, round them with some fennel and do a quick Let's. These are the special ingredients and you can cook any beef or lamb or any steaks. This is going to lift our lamb leg flavor to a new level. So in goes all the spices. Now add thick yogurt and give a quick stir. Taste the seasoning and adjust if needs to. Put the leg in a roasting tray and pour the marinade over the top. Remember, it's the marinade that will give a leg of lamb the flavor. So make sure you have enough of it. Now with your hands, gently massage the leg of lamb. Go deep in the pockets and marinate well. Turn it over and marinate it from all the sides, making sure that you go deep in the pockets. So my leg of lamb is marinated and I like to have some veggies as a side to go with my leg of lamb. So I'm going to use potatoes, carrots and onions. You can use any veggies of your choice. Peel them and then slice them thickly. Add a few green chilies, sliced carrots, peeled potatoes and shallots in your roasting tray and lightly marinate them with the marinade. So now I'm going to let it rest in my fridge for about 24 hours. That's the best way to get the flavors out of your roasted lamb leg. Hi, welcome back to my kitchen again. And uh, my lamb leg has been sitting in a fridge for overnight and it is beautifully marinated. I'm going to roast my lamb leg at 180 degrees Celsius covered for about two hours. 
first an hour and a half i'll cook it covered and then i will uncover it and cook it at 200 degrees celsius to, to give a nice charred texture before i do that i'm going to add few things in my lamb leg because i want to have my lamb leg with some sauce or gravy so i'm going to add some tomatoes and i'm going to lift my lamb leg and put all the veggies under and set my lamb leg on the top pour in a lamb stock water and drop a few sprigs of fresh mint mint goes brilliantly well with the lamb and now cover the lamb with the tin foil And now we'll roast our leg of lamb at 180 degrees Celsius for an hour and a half first and then we'll uncover it and cook it for another half an hour. So it's a time to take a look at the lamb. The leg has beautifully roasted and it is tender and full of juices. My veggies are cooked and the sauce smells so heavenly and what I'm going to do is now take out all the veggies to go as my side and use all the lovely juices mixed with the stock and then boil it to make a gravy to go with my lamb leg. Take your carrots and potatoes out and they are ready to go as a side. Pour all these lovely juices through a strainer and then squish it with the back of a ladle to get all the goodness of the veggies. Put the pan back on a heat and bubble it away until it thickens and the sauce has all the goodness of onion, garlic, tomatoes and the meaty flavor from the lamb. It's delicious. Now, baste your leg of lamb with melted butter or oil and put it back in oven for 20 to 25 minutes. Boil the sauce down till it thickens and remove any scum. And after 20 minutes, you have a beautiful leg of lamb cooked with all the tandoori spices, roasted potatoes. This is such a lovely family meal and makes a great Sunday lunch. And we have absolutely gorgeous carrots potatoes shallots my lovely sauce is ready and i wish you could join me to taste this all right guys this was my leg of lamb i hope i have inspired you enough to buy your own ingredients and cook a roasted leg of lamb and if you have any questions please do ask i love to hear from you post your pictures and keep cooking until my next video